I think we are probably on. Yeah. I am late for Ansnes, and um, it's really wonderful to 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 be joining this masterclass. I was so um, sad not to be able to come back to Latvia this summer and to play at the Ormara Festival um, and to give a masterclass there. But even then, more happy that we can make it now. Um, and we will have three students playing for me today. Um, and Karl is, is going to play. Do you want to tell us what you're going to play? Yes, I'm going to play Liz Tarantel from Venice in Apple. Wonderful piece. Looking forward to hear it. And I will just put on my headset just when you play and then take it off when we, when we speak after. But with the headset, I can hear you even better. Thank you. 
some applause there <laughs> you have nobody with you there they should applaud um, it's really exciting and um, is it a piece we played for a long time no actually I started six months ago about yeah but well six months is a good time to, to, to learn a big piece like that how old are you by the way I'm just turned 18 yeah. oh, fantastic uh, Wonderful playing. I, I will say a few things to you, maybe sometimes about uh, rhythm, sometimes about um, maybe how to build certain phrases, uh, maybe a little bit about the balance of the hands, maybe a little bit more attention to the left hand sometimes and so on. But in general, I find it a very convincing, complete performance, what you do, um, you know, really wonderful. Um, but maybe it can be even more exciting. So I, 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 um, I have never played this piece myself, but I, I, I know it quite well. So, um, yeah, well, play for me. Let's. You, you will hear me if I if I interrupt. Yeah, if I say something when you play. Yes, I it. think so. Yeah. So um, try a little bit from the beginning, and I will I will stop you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, for me, um, I think it's very, uh, the, very important here to establish uh, uh, this tarantella rhythm. I mean, we haven't gotten to the tarantella yet. This is just the introduction. But, but I would not do so much rubato in the beginning, like you are beginning a little bit slower. I, I, I would try to find this immediately. So there is a kind of feeling of, uh, you know, obsession, mm -hmm. you know, this mm -hmm. kind of tarantella is, uh, you know, it's something dangerous. And I feel it's more dangerous if you have a very clear rhythm. And also, I would not go too fast because you have so much later on in this piece, which goes crazy and which goes to the limit and so on. And and, and it's, a, it's a long piece, so don't, don't burn it off immediately. So I think it's more exciting. And then and then as it grows, you know, give a little bit more bass and make it bigger and bigger. But mm -hmm. try try not to go faster because I think mm -hmm. that's the excitement here. Try a little bit in the beginning and, and, and really 
with the tempo immediately. Right. Yeah, can I say can I say one thing? If when you have a this Apertura, there, it's so exciting, and I, in, I hear in your left hand um, more the low bass and not so much this one. I, I wish that that we really hear this uh, uh, as much and maybe more even than the low bass, and 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 really um, very sharp, um, like this element with this this kind of poisonous element in the middle, which you have in an orchestra maybe, you know. Um, yeah, try some kind of percussion thing. Yeah, that's very exciting. I think when you when you start with a with the chords, um, you know, you have and then you can you can maybe also vary. Uh, maybe you want to start um, with them longer here, and they get shorter and shorter, or the opposite. That you and then um, as we grow, it can be. Um, Sorry, you know that they get longer and longer and more obsessive. So I, I think in any case, a kind of variation that you don't play the same length um, mm -hmm. from when you start the chords. Try something uh, once from from this. <laughs> I, I like it. It's, it's more like. Then the, the last thing I will mention is don't play the left hand less because I think it's also a fight between the, these two hands. So when you have. Uh, don't think of this um, as an accompaniment. How is it? So, and, and in fact, then because the, the, the left hand is in the middle ranges of, 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 the, of the piano. You need to give it more than the right hand because the right hand you will hear anyway because it's so high up. So try with the crescendo to give really a lot to the left hand. And and in fact, don't push the right hand too early because it screams easily in, in this register on a sine way. So so you know, just at the end the, the right hand, but give the left hand. Okay, last time this this uphill there. introduction now I have to say really that all the elements were there and it was filling up with such an excitement now uh, the Tarantara itself uh, wonderful not not much to say but uh, I feel that you want to push a little bit forward try in the beginning really to have this kind of controlled um, uh, Tarantala with 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 a spine you know and then for me I don't know in your music but for me he writes uh, here and then piano from the from the D do you have this on the octave no no I don't have the piano ah you don't have okay. in my notes, it, yeah. it can be also additions uh, because I I thought that was the meaning the little but a little bit that the, it begins the second verse so this is um, Either you do like you you to go for for this dum pum pum, or that it's again piano. For me, that makes a lot of sense because it's the second time, uh, so it's not an ending. Uh, in any case, when you get to, uh, 
I was missing missing this accent. So you really have a sense of where the rhythm is, um, and and that gives it much more excitement for the axel rondo as well. And don't don't begin the axel rondo too early, um, so that uh, you keep you know, and then. It's very orchestral for me this 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 section, and if you can avoid taking time between all the sections, again I think this obsession of the, of the tarantelle is is much stronger. So it means don't take time here. Then it's really a dance, you know. Then it's very simple and 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 joyful and whatever exciting. But when you stop, I feel, uh, you know, on the wrong foot <laughs> uh, in, in dancing. Try once this. Um, okay, from the time then. <laughs> that um, the tempo that should guide you is so so don't go too fast with the big chords because um, uh, then it doesn't uh, it's not coherent with the with the rest then it seems like you're slow in the you know then then mm -hmm. this seems slow and 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 it, it should not be yeah and one thing when you have the can you give more and more in the left hand here as well because i didn't hear the crescendo in the left hand i only mm -hmm. heard uh, which you did wonderfully and and you cannot do more in in the right hand than you did but the left hand you can do more and to make it more exciting that these chords uh, you know and with pedal this can grow really um and for me, uh, just the last thing, um, it's such a habit often to start to start the section like the to start it slower. Mm -hmm. I'm not so convinced always about this. Maybe you can sometimes do it, but I, I notice there are many passages where you do this. Mm -hmm. And I would rather you know to it's something very strict first. And then the, the, that it's not so swimming. It's almost like you make it. You try to make a concession. And some people do it because they are they don't have the technical control. But that's not for you because you you, you have it. So I think you can play very. Okay, sorry, too much talking. Uh, play the tantal again. <laughs> start the axel rondo what we talked about this was stricter but in fact um when you think about the rhythm you have and then you start much much quicker immediately you know but actually you could stay in the same tempo and then the axel rondo has more effect you know and then you can go so mm -hmm. try to have two bars, two bars, really not not faster than the triplets, because otherwise mm -hmm. it seems like it's a it's a completely new tempo and and and, and mm -hmm. giving it away too early. Then when you have um, 
I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, but it's yes. it's something. Um, I feel the way. It, it, one general thing is um, the way you're sitting is a little bit. You're a little bit like this. For me, the your back. If you can think to be more, more, you know, uh, uh, straight and have more support from here, and also use use the inside of your body here to really uh, give a support to to what you need for your hands, mm -hmm. because you are a little bit here, and then in fact you 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 will have to do all the work with your with your upper body, mm -hmm. and I feel here there's not enough support from the from the sitting and from the uh, uh, from your back and in fact from 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 your your belly as well from the stomach the, this hole so if you can find really support from your sitting and and really maybe more on the edge of the of the of the piano chair a little bit more forward mm -hmm. maybe the maybe the the even the piano chair yeah a little bit more back mm -hmm. and then and then really use this and and I, I I don't think they need to be so short, especially the left hand. You know, when you're the, the grandfather in the left hand needs time to say something. Boom, 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 boom. So give it give it really sound um, and length to the chords. Here's here the sound is more important. That's what creates the excitement. It's not the tempo. Boom, 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 boom. And then yeah, yeah, I was just kidding. Oh, so then he comes back. Yeah. So it's it's real theater and the, the sound here yeah, you have to read support. Try. Um, you want to play once more from the crescendo part where you did wonderfully now with the left hand? Yeah. It sounds it's difficult a little bit for me to hear your sound of course over mm -hmm. over the internet but it sounds really more more full but just one example of a chord for instance mm -hmm. this chord you need mm -hmm. everything you need uh, support from your from your left foot you know in in the in the floor up through your body through your sitting and stretch your mm -hmm. Stretch your fingers, you know, really to have this extreme direct transmission. And also in the left hand, uh, I, I feel you're playing a little bit down, and and then you you get quite good sound, but it's a little bit little bit more tired. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit um, instead of whoa, you know, this kind of you know, wow. so make yourself longer at this point, you know. Do, mm -hmm. Don't go like this, but make yourself like this, um, if that makes sense. <laughs> yes. But ju just play from the chords. I, I feel as a listener not really that I'm not really aware of where the bar is. Where, where the, mm -hmm. So I would play um, a little bit accent on the on the on the first two. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. because I, I heard a little bit instead of just that. Um, and then when you get to the theme 
are you sure you want to immediately start much lower? Because for me, the, this this capriccio, so that he he writes an un poco rit, uh, rit uh, um, scherzando, but um, I mean, you, uh, I think it can be more more restless immediately, and then you can take time, you know. Um, and then there's strange angle after. Mm -hmm. But for me, you started slow, and then you have to pick up, and it, it, you did two things at the same time <laughs> a little bit. So, um, yeah, try Pio Pavace. <laughs> I don't think you need to immediately play faster. You know, because the harmonies there are so wonderful. And then you can. But just a moment of enjoying these harmonies before you before you do the stringendo. And if you play once more from the vivace, can you? It, it, it was good, but now I find the, the left hand a little bit too heavy. So mm -hmm. that the, the two hands are, are equally um, important in a way that the, it's not it's not too much bum 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 mm -hmm. bum everything uh, delicate try. got to the end of this section I didn't feel that it was um, building up in a very natural way you, you do first um, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, and and then you do a lot uh, more mm -hmm. the, the second time and then the third and fourth time you 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 don't manage to have the same intensity so mm -hmm. I wonder if the second time is really necessary so much louder because everything mm -hmm. in a way is piano here um, you can do a little bit more, of course, as a kind of variation, but but make sure that the, the third, when it gets to you, that this is this is more alive than before. That it's mm -hmm. not a kind of echo or anticlimax, I think. Um, and the end, um, pum, 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 pum. can you do mm -hmm. more 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 abrupt crescendo here? Mm -hmm. Yes, because he writes this crescendo at the end, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and and I didn't feel you really did that. And then there is a reason why you wait a little bit before the chords. Mm -hmm. If you do ba bum, yum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, yeah. yeah. Then you create tension. Try mm -hmm. uh, try the, the, this passage. Yeah, fantastic. Continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Things the, when you this time you have then, this is so this is so interesting suddenly coming. Um, and is there a way you can play that more? 
that it's really a kind of uh, symbol, a kind of a percussion mm -hmm. noise, you know? <clears throat> and then you can begin a little bit lighter after, you know, you don't need to exhaust yourself with, with the whole phrase. Um, then when you take time for something, uh, like you do before, you do a little bit before the Pio Animato again, mm -hmm. um, make sure also to give sound then mm -hmm. when you take time on the piano, you give sound because, um, we don't have the possibility uh, like the, like the wind players or the string players to keep the, 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 the sound alive, uh, with the bow or the, or the, or the air. So when you take time, give a little bit more sound to, to give the intensity here. So you have, then it's convincing because now it was kind of convincing, but you didn't give more there. And then it seems like the intensity drops. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can take this time, but if you give a little bit more sound at this moment, and then you can come back. And for me, um, from here, I would not make any rubato. So for instance, you, you are at the moment doing, um, param, param, param. I, I, I think this is a kind of the, the tarantella is evaporating into the air. And, and this is nothing, this is a force of nature. This is not, not something subjective from the human beings anymore. So, so, you know, just keep the tempo. And then it just disappears. And there's nothing you can do about it. Is it keep, keep the tempo. Um, I think that's much more convincing. Was there something? No. Can, can you play from the chords again? Um, for instance, here. There's one thing. Um, I I feel that the, you are you are losing a little bit control here, mm -hmm. and it's a rhythmic thing. I I think your fingers can do this perfectly mm -hmm. well, but uh, I would for you now uh, practice at least with with accents on each third one, so so you really know where the where the bar is. And... Yeah. Um, and, and, and watch that your little finger doesn't, is not random that you sometimes have a lot of sound and, and that it's really something constant. Really in, in the key, you can also practice the octave alone. With small accents. So you really know the rhythm because I think we have a tendency here to just think about the left hand because that's more difficult. Mm -hmm. But in fact, the, the, the right hand uh, has, to, has to give this support. Um, when you started the Pio Animato, um, I think it can be more here also in the left hand. It's the only time where this, this comes in really fortissimo, right? Mm -hmm. These chords. The last four, the first four, five chords, play them really uh, fortissimo also. And then you have the diminuendo and then it, makes much more uh more sense at least i i don't have any other dynamic here i don't know what you have in your music but it's really fortissimo from this last time yeah okay play the same uh one one last time Thank you. 
it's uh, of course very subjective how you do this. It's very free music, um, but it's not. Um, it's not maybe searching so much this melody, is it? It's it's kind of proud immediately, proud to be a Napolitana. Um, so maybe I wouldn't. Again, I wouldn't start on the slow side and try to find a way, but really. And here you can always give time, you know, with the, the accent. So, for instance, to have this this place free and to have time for this popo rantando, I think before needs to have a kind of a little bit more direction. But then, then you give freedom to this. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's a little bit. Well, do we know where this is going? And if you do this, then you have Dolce the, the second time with it. Then I think it can be more relaxed. And in this register, it's so wonderful if you can be, be light and, and, and Dolce. But the first time, a little bit more proud uh, Pavarotti-like, yeah? <laughs> Try it. thing it's it's um, very easy uh, easily a habit uh, that we we go on each then on each long note we go that we go up and just be aware also of the fact that this often then means that you take time you know and maybe you don't want to have this I'm exaggerating now you don't do that much but uh, so maybe try to keep your your wrist lower. Then then you also have 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 more um, control. In fact, that you you you're not so much for each one. And here you have more freedom. You know, then it's more direct transmission to the to the key, right? much better i think the, the first thing it make it's uh, now i really want to follow what's happening um it's more coherent um try for yourself to really define these the, all these passages which ones are just in brackets and which ones have intensity so for instance the um uh, sorry i've broken a string on my piano so it sounds absolutely horrible uh, this one it could be really, really light. Like it's really uh, the music goes from, you know, and everything in between is it's just pianissimo, le leggerissimo. Sorry, I can't play. Really, really with with control, but extremely light. And then on the other hand, rinforzando. So it's, it's extreme. I think it has to be extreme differences here. You know how the Italian singers are at one one moment, you know, sobbing like this, and then the next one, you know, it, it, there is nothing in between. So mm -hmm. I, I think these passages, you have to think a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. um, and he writes it. Uh, if you see, he writes Dolce, Sforzando, then Cantando, you know, every, every of these uh, expressions. So so really go for them and do them very clear. Can you play from the Dolce, from the octaves? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. 
maybe the last one can have a little bit more crescendo before you do this mozzando. And then you can you have more possibility to do to do this mozzando. And you can take more time then if you have a little bit more sound in the middle. So just try the last passage. And now and now forte cantando. Can I continue? Now the cantando was a uh, was real forte, but it was a little bit too um, uh, too chopped up each note. It was a little bit. It wasn't singing enough. So just be, be you know be, because you have these legato bows doesn't maybe mean that you need to be. be very well then this contrast and then here give give also then more left hand because then you have high up the crescendo and then on the other hand the bass and everything in the middle so give also some middle ground to the sound mm -hmm. uh, i was um there's a limit to how much you can grow in the in the right hand mm -hmm. then um I wouldn't, I wouldn't do so much ralentando the first times mm -hmm. because it comes so many times. And in fact, the last time it's the one where one should really feel mm -hmm. oh, the total regret and the total, uh, you know, feeling that you have lost something in your life or something. Mm -hmm. But this time it's a little bit hint of it. And you mm -hmm. see, he, he writes just the ralentando, just at, at the second half of the bar each time. And then the, the 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 third time there's famata so the two first ones not not so much yeah okay try once more from the cantando Wonderful, but the last time you can take more time, I think, mm -hmm. because then it's really ah, oh, it's the third time that counts, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so j j just uh, play the last bars. Mm -hmm. I think that is a is a typical passage which is in the brackets, which is just mm -hmm. musically not uh, significant. So um, I mean that's the music, and everything mm -hmm. else is uh, congrazia. It's in the middle. It's it's typical from from Chopin also these kind of passages, mm -hmm. right? Um, mm -hmm. It's just ornamental. So I think it's too naughty from you here. Ooh, you make make a kind of wave, but but in in piano. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe this last passage, uh, you can start the crescendo a little bit later. Uh, mm -hmm. It was, I, I don't know, I mean, it's also difficult for me to judge sometimes for, uh, how it sounds, but for me, it sounded immediately quite forte. Mm -hmm. And then the, the second bar, uh, more general. And um, you know, the, 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 the sixth you have in the uh, Leccherissimo, 
um, maybe uh, maybe you need to have a point in the like in the middle of the barrio that you go somewhere even if it's pianissimo. Can you just try that? I think take your time take your time for it. Also make the, the, the left hand play a little bit slower there so you don't need to be a slave of a certain tempo. You know, just to play with the finger everyone, yeah? You are now you're telling much more story and now this ba, 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 bee, ba, 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 becomes part of the of the story and not a separate kind of element mm -hmm. just make sure for me uh, if i can judge it uh, uh, right for me there's not enough bass in this mm -hmm. so, what, sorry what is it uh, yeah you know, just to, mm -hmm. also that you really have have the the, the bass here um mm -hmm. But that's fine. Let's. Uh, we don't have so much time left. So can you can you um, continue with the key changes? Mm -hmm. that's, that's, uh, it's not so clear for me. I think you take a little bit time. You make some sort of triplet. Make, make, just make sure in the middle of this, this that you and then again, very uh, uh, light in the in the right hand. Yeah. Mm We don't have time for everything here, but just here in the Axel Rondo, for instance, when you go down, daddy, 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 and then you have the long one, um, ba, 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 you can begin less so that you don't have everything uh, in, in, in your face, you know, but you, you suddenly have a, a place where you can start less again. You know, try once, <laughs> just this. Yeah, that's more elegant. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. good. Um, we don't. I think we don't need this. Um, um, in fact, I would rather go to towards the ending, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Can you play um, <laughs> from around there? I was sometimes missing um, the two in the in the left hand, mm -hmm. so don't think too much of it as an accompaniment. So in in a way you can play the sometimes the right hand lighter because the, this we will hear anyway, but just that it's not that it's not too loose. Mm -hmm. It has to be piano but clear. Try. Yeah, and and he and he used the use the left hand also. Let everything now grow from the left hand because it's in the bass. 
Try to try, go on, go on here. <laughs> Strepitoso. Mm -hmm. Can you try once not to stop there? I think it's mm -hmm. here. It's it's there is no way back. You know, it's mm -hmm. going straight um, over the over the cliff. So so don't lean back suddenly. And really go crazy. And then on the other hand, when you have the prestissimo, don't go too fast. Because it's a bit disappointing when, when you get to the theme again, if you have to calm down in tempo, I think. It's better if you, if you have a tempo where you can keep it. Try. Um, the same? but it's <laughs> it's maybe on the edge uh, tempo so so i would still where it says prestissimo i would go just a little bit mm -hmm. uh but but you don't, you don't need to do it now um yeah just continue <laughs> and you wait before this chord i would not wait before it because the chord itself is the exciting so wait after the chord that's where the where the tension is play this You know, that needs, if possible, there should be a feeling that we are, even we have one more level up, you know? Mm -hmm. And how do you do that? That you, you can only do with the left hand. So play the left hand. <laughs> really a lot of noise. They're like growling uh, lions, you know, in the... <laughs> you cannot push it more in the, in the right hand. So make make the noise from the and also when you come down these chords, bam, 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 and you come down in the bass, play more and more left hand. That's mm -hmm. how you can get this very exciting feeling, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, j j just the last thing about this. You can start where it says stringendo. I would start a little bit less. Beep, ba, 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 ba. And maybe short, and then they can become longer and longer. You know, and you know, when you're then in the bass, you can really give length to the left hand. Mm -hmm. That also gives sound. Try ju just this, the, the chords. Beep, ba, 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 ba. <laughs> But I think I would also help with a little bit pedal, uh, you know, after a while with the chords. Yeah, you know, yeah, try it on. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
And now, I, um, you didn't play it now, but I remember from you when you played Truth. I don't understand the last bars because they don't have a rhythm for me. And I think this is very essential after this, after this, this crazy passage that we have bum, yum, bum, 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 beep, bum, bum. You know, something, you know, you can imagine symphonically. Um, there, there has to be a kind of steadiness. Uh, Otherwise, it doesn't make a lot of impression to me that this jumping in, in, in full speed. Try really to have a tempo here. Okay, the last passage. Yeah, something like that. That, that it's really, the, the, you keep one tempo, the last, <clears throat> the last pass. Fantastic, great to hear you. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. So I think we take, what is the time? Ah, it's almost five. Okay, so we, so we take five minutes maybe?